Well, Stephen, a 2 0 defeat at home to Carlisle in the uh, EFL Trophy. Your thoughts on the game? Listen, uh, I'm saying the same things week in, week out. We had a little break from it on Saturday where we defended very well. Um, at, at the minute, we we're passing the ball about um, in front of people. We're telling people constantly to run in behind, so I'm telling the same people to do it, and they're not doing it. So we're, we're going to have to make big decisions. The big, the big ten games coming up for people's careers, so decisions have to be made. Um, and listen, we we know what our frailties are, and it was exposed again tonight with two set plays. So um, we're, we're telling the same information. We're telling the same people the same information. So you know, at some stage we you know we have to do something about that, and we can't do it at the moment. So we've got a group together. We. We look like a group of boys that are very, very short of confidence if we don't score first. You know, when we passed the ball, we were very good for the first 20 minutes. And as soon as we went 1-0 down, and, you know, it, it looked like we weren't going to come back from it. And it took it to go 2-0 down before we started playing with any kind of intensity again. So, yeah, look, it's, it's really, really disappointing. I come out and say the same things for the last month or six weeks, but and I'm saying the same things to players. Uh, so, you know, listen, you, you have to have a step up and be counted, which needs to be done now. You know, we need to now focus our sole attention on Fleetwood. We had to make another five changes tonight, four of them enforced, because of international call-ups, actually five changes in, um, altogether were injuries as well. So we can't get a settled side, we can't get a settled back four. Um, we can't get a settled goalkeeper on back four at the moment. So it's, it's difficult, you know, it's difficult when you're playing again beside different people every week due to injuries or loss of form. So first and foremost is try and get something settled. Um, that's difficult when people are finding it hard to get a run of form consecutive games. You know, never mind two or three games. You know, two games of a, of a consistent run of form would be good, but we're we're not getting that at this moment in time. Talking of goalkeepers, Carl Leverin picked tonight and then injured in the uh, the warm up. But Andre De Silva Mendes got his, his debut and he did okay. I thought Andre was very good. You know, um, it was his debut. He's only actually trained three days. He's had a, a wrist injury and been out all season. Not done a pre season. And you know Barry Roach got high hopes for him, and he proved that tonight. You know he was thrown in at the deep end at the last minute. Really unfortunate for Kyle, who's been a, the ultimate pro since we left him out of the team, and it's unfortunate for him. But he certainly took his opportunity, Andre. Looking at the team, you picked a strong team. Is that what's more disappointing against a team like another League Two team to go down like that? Yeah, I think listen, I've made lots of changes in this competition to give people game time, and I have to try and listen. We. If we set out to win it, we probably wouldn't have made nine changes in the previous two games. What we wanted to do was get people fit again. You know, I'll try and take some sort of positives out of that. It was probably Jonah Youngest, one of his, his best games since he come back to fitness. Aaron Will, they get 65, 70 minutes. You know, so they're they're the positives in there. Um, there's there's the same frailties that we know, but you know we had a strong front three. We had a strong front three with our, our two centre halves that played on Saturday. Albeit we we had we changed both full backs due to injury and international call ups. Um, so we just can't get a run of consistent games and teams and you know consistent teams will lead to consistent results. But unfortunately, things are going against us at the moment. No game Saturday, but a massive game coming up now after that against Fleetwood. Yeah, we need to clear our heads. Um, there's no real time to feel sorry for yourselves. Um, you know, if we're going to get stick about it, we'll deal with that and we'll move on with it. But it's it's now start again tomorrow. But you know, start again mainly Monday, ready to go for Fleetwood. It's a it's a big run of games coming up. It really is um, games. I feel we can win. We showed on Saturday that we can defend. We can defend our box and we can throw our bodies on the line. And we can press properly. And it, as I say, it's just getting that belief and consistency to do that. And it's it's big big games coming up in the next month. On the positive side, Aaron Rodig against sixty five, as you say. You had Courtney Dufus on the bench, you've got John Abeka hopefully coming back to some sort of match action soon. That must be a positive for you. I think any team that takes out four or five main players, Shane McLaughlin missing as well, Alfie McCullman, Greg Lee, Ryan McLaughlin, you know, if you take out all those starters, you're going to struggle. I know we had a strong front three and we had our two centre halves playing that played on Saturday. Um, but you know, when, when we take that kind of quality out of the team and energy and pace out of the team, it's it's a struggle. So to get them all fit again, which I'm hoping everybody bar John will be available for the, the Fleetwood game, it certainly gives me options and uh, nobody's been consistent enough to guarantee a place in the team. Nobody. Um, and uh, people have to now step up to it.